So this afternoon, we're about to catch one of the longest flights in the world. Big long day. I am Big long day. exhausted. That we can just fly directly for 17 hours straight. Is your body ready for this? Yes, I'm excited. No layovers. It's gonna be amazing. Almost finished your packing? Um, yes, I hope it all fits. <laughs> so this afternoon, we're about to catch one of the longest flights in the world from our hometown Perth all the way to London, direct, no stops. Now normally when we head back to Europe, it's either a stopover in Dubai or Qatar and that takes us about 20 to 21 hours. So this is shaving off a good three to four hours on this flight this afternoon. So the route is on Qantas and it's on the 7879 Dreamliner. Now this was made for the route and it's crazy because back in the 40s, this kangaroo route from London all the way to Australia would take four days and have seven stopovers. So now it's crazy to think that we can just fly directly for 17 hours straight. By the way, Steve, this jumper is getting me so excited for where we're going. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you guys will find out where we're going very soon. <laughs> Tell them what you told me about the whole Lord of the Rings and stuff. It was making it sound like the flight was gonna be forever. You're probably thinking, what are we going to get up to for 17 hours? And I was looking, if we binge watched the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, we would still have eight hours left on the flight. <laughs> and if we watched episode one and all of the episodes of Rick and Morty, we would just make the 17 hours. Plus, last one, we just subscribed to Disney Plus, which- It's amazing, by the way. Jess has been loving. <laughs> if you subscribed for the flight and watched every single new show, new TV on there, you could watch it all and still squeeze in an hour flight. And that is my plan. <laughs> I've downloaded all the new stuff on Disney Plus and I'm just gonna watch that all and then have an hour nap. <laughs> and I'll be in London. All right. I've packed as much warm stuff as I can because the next month is gonna be cold. This is the last time we see this beautiful Aussie sun till next decade. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Auntie Claire says bye! <laughs> bye bye! Bye! Miss you. Miss you! I am so excited for this trip. I'm about to have my dream Christmas and we actually aren't coming back to Australia till next year. So technically we can say we aren't coming back home until next decade. Hey mate, how you hey, doing? Not too bad. Here you go. Awesome, thank you. Alright, ready? Last time on land. <laughs> Last time in Australia until the new year. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. Hey, yeah. Nice to see you. Starting? Yeah, I think I'm just next Cheers. to her. Fantastic. Love your videos, by the way. Oh, oh really? Oh, thank you so much. Right. Cheers. So, this is going to be our home. Comfy? Yeah, so the screens are big. Yeah. It's like a brand new plane, isn't it? Yes, this is the brand new plane. And I got our little blankie. Got our blankie. Got my head thing. Got my noise cancelling headphones. But ready. we don't have a window. <laughs> What's with that? I don't know. <laughs> that Thanks. moment when you Thank hear you, the sea. Outdoors and cross check. No one's next to us. <laughs> I can lie down. Oh my gosh, you I'm so ready down. by the way. <laughs> I was actually intrigued on such a long flight how many meals would they give us? I think it's like two main meals. So it's dinner, which is going to get served soon. And then breakfast to some point tomorrow. And then also there's like mid-flight snacks.
wanted to say a huge thank you to Mofi for partnering up with us on this episode. When they found out that we were catching one of the longest flights in the world, they decided to hook us up with some of their latest battery packs to ensure that our devices are fully juiced up for the entire trip. Depending on what you're bringing for your holiday, they have portable battery packs for any situation. From their power station PD, which is perfect for smartphones and tablets, super compact and can charge your iPhone up to 2.5 times faster. But if you're looking for a bit more juice, their power station PD XL is a portable pack with their USB-C fast charge built in. So if you're wanting to keep your phone charged, or like me, my Nintendo Switch, the larger battery size is perfect for those longer flights. Now the monster, which is perfect for us, as we not only want to keep our phones and switches charged up for this flight, but if I want to sit down and charge our laptop to edit a vlog, the Mophie Power Station USB-C 3XL will keep our MacBook alive for longer than this flight and up to 85 hours on your smartphone. And the final one before we get back to the vlog is my personal new favorite addition. It's the Compact Charge Stream Travel Kit, which comes in this handy travel bag, has universal adapters for around the world, as well as a car charger and a wireless charging kit. So you can be extra fancy at your hotel. So make sure you check out the links in the description below for all the products mentioned. Now let's go check on future Steven and Jess to see how they're dealing with this flight. Well, welcome to the United Kingdom, where the local time in London is now 5.18am. Mm, thank you. See ya. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yes, thanks so much. Bye. Thank you. We made it. I feel like it was quite an easy flight in the end. I think it's because the flight left at 7pm in Perth. So by the time you have your dinner, you're tired and ready to sleep. And no one was sitting next to me, so I just slept for 12 hours out of the 17 hours. I think the worst thing about that flight is how addicted we're probably going to become to that flight because oh. not having the stopover meant we were able to sleep for 10 to 12 hours on the entire flight. Without being woken up. Yeah. And we ate so much food. Yes. And the people that worked on that flight were the friendliest. Super nice. And also, oh also because Qantas is like an Australian airline, they have I've never seen this before, almost like a snack fridge at the back of the plane, stocked with Tim Tams, ginger beer, like all our favourite snacks. I so ate nice. so many Tim Tams. <laughs> and now it is 6am and we have a four hour wait. Yeah. And then we're flying to our final destination. Should I keep it like suspense? <laughs> okay, you have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Bye. 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 Enjoy Finland. Thank you. So we've finally decided that we have invested into lounge access. This year we stayed in a couple, trying to test it out, and now that I'm pregnant and we're having the baby next year, well, you know what, I think it's time to finally invest in a priority pass. And for Black Friday, they're 20% off, so we both got a card and we've worked out that within the year, we need to use it 10 times. 10 times, yes. We go to 10 lounges, and in the next month, we're already gonna be going to seven. So I think it's definitely gonna be worth it and I'm so excited because we've now come into Heathrow Airport. We have a four hour layover and we're just gonna go and sit in a lounge. Have food. This is gonna be good. This is the showers. So this is the app here, it's called Priority Pass and it's a, like a yearly subscription. So we just pop into the airport we are at, Heathrow, Terminal 3, lounges. And then we can see that there's two lounges that we can access. We're just around the corner from this one and then we can see everything if it has any showers, food, perfect. I'm so excited. We've like always wanted to invest in this but it's kind of pricey. So we're waiting for the perfect time and I'm like, okay, this is the year. This is the year. <laughs> hours of pure bliss nice and relaxing had some breakfast had a coffee i have zero regrets on signing up to that but we are now boarding our next flight one that's been on our bucket list for a very very long time Finland! We are kicking off this Christmas trip 
in one of the most Christmassiest countries ever. Yes. We're going to be here for a week. We started our trip off in Helsinki and we just jumped off our plane. Jet lag is really kicking in. Oh yeah, I am like falling we asleep feel like so zombies. badly right now. We also, when we got to the airport, for an Uber to get into the city, it was 46 euros. Or you can catch a train that takes you right to the city for 4 euros 60. So we just did that. It is currently 4.30 p.m. and it is already pitch black. Like, it feels like it's so late. 4.30 in the afternoon. Christmas lights are out. Oh, and there's a 10 minute walk and we'll be at our warm Airbnb ready for bed. A little apartment. I think she said no boots in the house. Boots off. Boots off. Oh, it's super cute. Oh, this is cozy. It's got so like a full kitchen over here, our bed. Our windows, our couch, all in one area. And then, I'm guessing this is our bathroom. Then we've got a shower, but I think it's time to cook fresh soup, hot chocolate, maybe some garlic bread, and put on a Christmas movie because we have just had, I think one of the longest travel days in we've a had long in a while. Time. Big long day. I am long day. exhausted. I think it is not even that late. I think it's but like think, 10 to 6. <laughs> you know what I think? Let's put on a Christmas movie. Mm hmm. And fall asleep in the first five minutes. Yeah, sounds yeah. like a plan. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, a lot of European fun Christmas videos are coming your way, so make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whenever we wake up. Exploring Helsinki. See you guys. Bye. Got the goods, hot chocolate, cinnamon bun, and some sausages.